everyone. Pierre, you told us there were numerous fields of application for nanos, but I don't have a clear picture of what a nano product looks like. Well, that's a very broad question, Kathleen. Nanos can be included in a wide variety of products and improve their operation. Yes, materials and components structured on the nanometric scale can be stronger, more efficient, or use less raw materials thanks to their mechanical, thermal, optical, magnetic, or electronic properties, which explains why they can have an impact on so many activity sectors. Can you give us an example in day-to-day -day life? Yes, uh, clothing that wrinkles less thanks to nanostructured textile fiber or flame-resistant jackets. Is that all? No, of course not. There are major impacts in the fields of energy and the environment. For photovoltaics, for instance, I can capture natural sunlight and change it into energy very efficiently. Or with nanomembranes, I can detect and neutralize microorganisms and pesticides in soil and water. What about healthcare? That's another huge field of applications. Researchers are presently working on nanocapsules that can administer doses of medicine in the body in an extremely targeted way, such as destroying a cancerous tumor without affecting the healthy cells. And that's only one aspect. Analysis laboratories the size of a chip are being developed and can make the lives of certain patients much easier. Very useful for tracking food products and for monitoring the spread of viruses, right? Fine. Have we covered everything? No. There are hundreds of other examples for homes, transportation, information technologies, household activities. And all of this using only the amount of material strictly required. Preserving and saving the world's resources is one of the ways of contributing to sustainable development. Indeed. But how can we be sure all of this is developed in a responsible way? That's the main point, Kathleen. And to make sure, we must be careful to meet three conditions. Yes? Innovating in a responsible way means, first of all, taking precaution. Meaning? It means guaranteeing the safety and protection of the environment in all cases throughout the life cycle of nanoproducts. Scientific work must be carried out to detect nanoparticles, protect workers and consumers, and recycle nanoproducts. Second condition, there are regulations that must be complied with or adapted if and when required. As a result, it takes 10 years for new medicines to be put on the market. Researchers, like industrialists, are bound by these regulations. And the third step? Well, the third step concerns the rules of living together, issues regarding policymaking and society. There is a lot more to be said about this. Yes, and speaking of that, I have queries about the research aimed at miniaturizing electronic chips on the micro or nanometric scale. Would you explain this to us in the next episode? Well, I'd be glad to, Kathleen. <laughs>